Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this series I'm going to be following a Delphi handbook which I have and I'm going to be teaching you everything in the book. We're going to be starting at this beginning and just move through the book and basically just learn you the, the Delphi programming language. So I'm going to, I'm going to be using Delphi 10 Seattle, but you can use any any version of Delphi. Or you could also use Lazarus. Lazarus is a free open source IDE for Delphi or Pascal code. So if you don't have Delphi, then download Lazarus. I'll have the link in the description of this video. And uh, this is me, so you can see how I look. And yes, we are going to be using the VCL Forms application. So let's start with our first video. Here's our form. Let's give the form a caption name form color changer. And the caption is what stands here at the title top of the form. Let's change the form name to FRM Home. Let's save the project. I'm going to be saving mine on the desktop. Uh, okay, create new folder. Um, form color changer. Okay. I like to name my units such as unit underscore home. And I like to name my projects the same name as my program's name. Okay. So today we're going to be we are going to be making a program that basically just changes the form's background color to whatever the button is. Yes. In um, let's add a button. Increase the size a bit. Let's increase the font size to 25. Let's make it 20. Yeah, 20 is fine. Okay. And let's change the caption to yellow. And the name to PTN yellow. Let's copy and paste the button. So you have three buttons six buttons so let's change the captions of the, of, the, of the other buttons to green blue black white and red Okay, so what we're going to do is we, we want to change the form, the form's color property here. So here are the different colors. Oops. So here are the different colors which you can choose from. And here's the color codes for it. Or you could just double click on it and design your own custom code or color, such as, as you guys can see. So let's summer then this will be the code. Let's summer leave it like this. Okay. Now let's change the other buttons names. This should be BTN green. BTN blue. Oh that's not where is blue? Okay. BTN black. BTN white and btn red okay so now we'll start writing writing the code for it so you can double click on the button then it will auto automat automatically create a, an on click event for it or you can just like go to it and double click on the on click event and also create a code so let's go to yellow you'll want to say frm home dot color color equals cl yellow so 
basically what this does is we select the form which is FRM home and then we select the color property of the form so FRM home dot color and then we set it equals to CL yellow and this colon equals is an assignment operator so yeah just I remember that it's it's just commented here mm. And this is a comment by the way, but we will speak about comments later in this tutorials. Let me show you. This is called an assignment operator. So yes, do not do not call this. Now some people I like, call it like an equal sign or something like that. It's called an assignment operator, but. Um, I'm going to be calling it colon equals in, in, in a lot of my videos, so yes, just know that. Okay, so let's go to the, the other buttons. FRM home dot color colon equals CL green. FRM home dot color colon equals CL blue. And please, guys, do indent your code, don't leave it like this. Don't leave it like this. Please indent the code by pressing tab or two spaces, or maybe four. It depends how you how you prefer. It, but yeah, just do that. Just more neat. F R M home dot color black. Oh, and you switch between the um, code and uh, form by pressing F twelve. Or you could go here to the bottom at design and code. Ugh. Okay. Now to compile our program, we are going to be pressing on this green um, arrow here, not arrow, green triangle or this one, you can choose which one, this one is with, without debugging, this one is worth debugging, so yes, I'm going to be pressing this now, it just compiles and here's our form, and as you can see it clearly works. So yes, and as you can see, if you compile, the form appears in the left top corner of the screen. So we want it to appear in the middle of the screen. So that would be you're going to be changing the form's position property to desktop center, and it will still now appear in the middle of the desktop when we compile it. So I think that's, that's it for this video, um, I'll continue more on this in the next video. Um, thanks for watching and guys, in each video at the end I'm going to be giving you guys um, kind of like homework or, or an assignment that you can guys can like practice and stuff. So for this video I would like for you guys to um, improve this color picker, um, add more colors, do whatever you want to do with it, just improve it and you're welcome to send me screenshots or send me the program. Um, I'll go check it out, um, leave some tips, you can comment below, and yeah, so for this video, I'd like you guys just improve this program, work a bit on it, um, work on it as if, you, as if you're going to be publishing it on the internet for, for millions to use, so make it nice, um, yeah, I'd like to see what you guys are going to do, what you guys are going to do with it, and sorry if I start there in my videos, like, I sometimes start um, stuttering or don't speak very clearly, so I'm sorry for that, but I'm sure you guys will get used to it. Um, I keep saying guys, what if, what if you are, are girls, I don't know, anyway, guys, you guys are girls and boys, or men and women, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, uh, I'll see you in the next video, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And...